I like Mythbusters, but this he guy really likes you Mythbusters. had to be there, but he <laughs> <And> loves <laughs> I'm sorry. I may I admit my my innocent virgin ears may have deceived me, but I believe you just said Alf. As in the bear thing with the nose. <laughs> Surely that's I misheard you. Everybody and welcome back to Barely Bearable Besties. I'm Thomas and I'm Bianca. We did. We're back. Yeah, I like it's, it's like a yeah week three, the third episode, episode yeah, three. Episode it's like three. We're, we're we're surprised we're back every week, <laughs> even though this is like we, we intend to be back every week. I don't know. <laughs> every week it's like, will we make it? Every week we have a new technical challenge. This but, is true. Man, when we go remotely, like like when we're in different <laughs> um, parts of the country, mm -hmm. what are we gonna do? It'll be easier. It might be easier. Yeah, I we just record like this, like do something like that. But... You and I are far more difficult when we're together. That's true, but are we more fun? Hmm. To us. I don't know. I don't know because you and I have had like seven hour conversations far apart. That's true. So like I, we can keep it up. It'll be fine. Yeah, but those were a lot of silence and a lot of looking at like food videos on the internet. It's because they were entertaining. That's true. Like they were. No, we literally, there was one point. Um, <laughs> this was n near the beginning of our friendship. Yeah. So like probably over two years ago, it was, we were just sitting, well, I guess, I don't know where you were, but. I, uh, I was in my dorm. Right, and I was in my dorm, and we were just on the phone, just like, I screen shared my phone, and we were just looking at Instagram, like, food videos. <laughs> Not intentionally, either. We just ended we, up there. Yeah, we just ended up there, because that's where, and for the next, like, when, apparently when you look and like at, um, Instagram videos of, of food. Apparently. Um, apparently, when you do that for seven hours straight, I refreshed the thing that morning. My, my Instagram feed that morning and it was just food. Everything. <laughs> for the next, like, month. Yeah. And I don't get any food. But now that I'm saying it out loud, I'm going to get a ton of food. Yeah, I bet we're going to start getting food again. <laughs> Which is fine. I, it, I mean, I think food, for some reason, on the internet is like, oh, how do we make this food look appealing to people? Let's just dump melted cheese, cheese. on it. So much Which cheese. Which is, I like, like cheese. You don't like cheese, but I like cheese. It hurts my stomach to the look cheese. at those videos sometimes. Yeah, but it's still, it like, even... It's it, my two least favorite things on, on like TikTok or Instagram about food is like when you pour cheese on it or when you put a bunch of mac and cheese on something. It's like mm, yeah. the, the burrito does not need a ton <laughs> of mac and cheese. I'll just be super honest. That's fair. If any mac and cheese at all, just put, you, I like it as a side. I don't like when uh, some restaurants, I don't know if they still do this, but they were used to like, oh my God, put, we, we have a mac and cheese burger. I was like, yeah. oh, I'd rather it on the side. And you know you what? Know? It's never even Velveeta. Velveeta. <laughs> Week three. The best a man can get. Week three of trying three. to get Velveeta to sponsor us. Week three of plugging Velveeta, giving them free <laughs> sponsorship until they sponsor us. I mean, they need it. You know, we're just trying to help. Yeah, no, nobody knows what Velveeta is. Yeah. Do you guys know what Velveeta is? Shout out in the Why? comments if you know what Velveeta is. <laughs> because we, we, listen, I feel like if we just bully one brand, <laughs> they'll just be like, please just give them like 20 bucks. Oh, 20 bucks? Do you think we get 20 bucks? Um, I was wanting like a free box, just one. I don't. I was about to say, I don't eat Velveeta in our Velveeta um, mock ad. <laughs> Listen, I'm trying to cut back on, on the... The, on, the best thing On the life. silky, creamy, uh, delicious flavor of Velveeta. <laughs> it's too good. You can't handle it. That's what it is. Yeah, no, it's, it's too... Um, I don't deserve it. Yeah. I don't deserve you, Velveeta. It's true, he doesn't. I'm going to go out inside, like, Velveeta's house. This, that's not, that's, a, ba that's a bad. That's a bad. That's a bad. Mr. Velveeta's house, <laughs> and this is a bad way to start a sentence. But then I'm gonna like have a jukebox and some signs. Oh man, you're going. All and out. what are other movie things? I'm. I don't know. I'm gonna take my shirt off and start glowing in the sunlight. I don't know. What are other romance? Fifty. No, I'm gonna do that one. Um, <laughs> other stuff. <laughs> um, and it'll just say like, or what's that Taylor Swift video? Just like I, I have, oh. an, I have an apartment that's right across yeah, the street yeah, yeah. from theirs, and yeah. just like do. How are you? Still creamy? Question mark. You know, <laughs> stuff like that. And just Still cool. creamy. I like it. I like. I also like how we never. We that's never my next rap. <laughs> that's my next rap song. Just still creamy. We always end up here, and like we haven't even done. We haven't <laughs> the even done the thing, the thing. Any, anything. That's fine. But so. <laughs> so, this week's story of the week. Oh, we yeah, have we're doing um, that first. Yes, we have. Off of Reddit story of the week oh man i i was so ready um 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 
r slash family. So it's like family advice and things okay. like that. With the title from anti anime mom. Oh no. I mean, hey, what a stance. <laughs> <laughs> you go, queen. Um, <laughs> my boyfriend quit his job to become a professional wrestler, but we have bills and kids to take care of, and I don't know what to do. We both work full time, but we don't have. But we don't make a lot of money from our jobs. We do make above minimum wage, and both of our checks are necessary to pay the bills. He's also very obsessed with wrestling. He watches it multiple times a week, and he often goes to indie shows around us. Oh, I love indie shows. Those are the best. What is an indie show? Like is what? it literally Indianapolis? No, 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 no. Like, like what I like used that. to go to. Oh. Okay, well, we'll talk about it. It's, I mean, it's spelled like this. I can't. I don't have glasses on. I-N-D-Y. Okay, sure. Go ahead. Okay. He also blows a lot of money on stupid stuff, like buying actual gear the wrestlers wore in the ring. We have two kids, one is 17 and one is 7. His boss called the house today and asked if my boyfriend was okay and that he suddenly quit today. Is he boyfriend or husband? Boyfriend, sorry. Boyfriend. I don't know if I said... Where are you going? You just keep going. Um, we, keep telling your story. <laughs> just keep telling your um, story. Don't are you going to put it on? <laughs> Should put on off Just camera. keep telling your story. Where's this you, I'm I'm lost. <laughs> um, I don't think it'll fit right now. Um, his boss called the house today. <laughs> <laughs> keep going. She just she's putting there on like go. a luchador mask. By the way, <laughs> is what's happening right now. <laughs> his boss called the house today and asked me if my boyfriend was okay and that he suddenly quit today. I told them I had no idea what's going on. We got home and I asked why he quit. He sat on. He sat the family down and said he was. Are you? Why are you looking at the phone like you're actually reading this? I know I don't one. You don't look. have. You don't have your glasses on. And two, you have to wear that for the rest of the show. Where are you? Doing? <laughs> and one, you don't have your glasses on. And two, you cannot see out of that thing. Um. He sat the family down and said he was pursuing a childhood dream. Um, and he was going to train to become a professional wrestler and was quitting his job to pursue that. Oh man. I asked how we'd pay for that. And he said he could get it out of the savings account. I asked about bills and he said that we'll just have to cut back, maybe get cheaper plans on the internet, cancel the Netflix, and buy generic groceries. <laughs> he can't even spring for Velveeta anymore. Well, well, <laughs> yeah, he's going to have to get like great value. Great value. Not as good as Velveeta, but <laughs> passable. Okay, so what do they do? I don't know what to do. He's in his 40s and yeah. he isn't even much of an athlete. An athlete. He's on the husky side. Plus, he's only 5'8". Wow, you're just, <laughs> you're just tearing him down now. Um, <clears throat> I guess it wasn't enough to watch this stupid stuff every week. Now he wants to be in the show. I tried telling him this, and he brought up how many wrestlers got started when they were older, and a lot of what wrestlers have been overweight. That's I tried true. telling him to at least work part-time, but he said it takes dedication, and he's sick of working like a dog all day. Quote, he said... Quote, it's time I do something for myself. I'm pretty sure he's having a midlife crisis. I don't know. I don't even know what to do about this. How can I get through to him that we can't afford him to go through with this and that he's not built for wrestling? Come on now. Okay. So there's a few things happening here. There are many things happening here. I was about to say, is he the jerk? But that's not the question. No. <laughs> um, okay. My first thing is. It's, it's, we were talking about this last week. There's a fine line between being honest and being mean. Like, yes. Listen, and, and I don't think it's going to go, like, if, if, if you're still listening, I don't know, I don't remember when this was posted, but if you happen to be listening and want our advice um, from something that happened um, seven months ago. Oh, okay. Um, that's fairly talking. No, I mean, that's, that's relevant. I hope, well, um, maybe sitting him down and saying, listen. Like, laboring the point that he is not fit physically for this is not the way to go. To no, that's not helpful. Because clearly, I mean, I think, personally, you got to try to convince him at least to also to work something else. Yeah, so so what I want to know is, like... Uh, uh, does it, so and does it take... You, like, he can have a part-time job and do it. That's what I, I say. No, it takes dedication. What? So, <laughs> I mean, it does, but, like, you can do... You can you, work three days a week. You, you can know? be dedicated and still work. Right. You can be dedicated to your craft... And continue and continue working. Right. I, I, I think, I mean, it'll be a lot. You'll be very busy. Sure. But, like, you can manage it. 
Sure. You can figure it out. I just like, I just think, no, listen, I need to, like, if you want to quit your job, I get it. I totally get it. But you can't just stop everything. No. And here's the thing that I was, I would say, if I were the wife in this, or the the girlfriend in this scenario. It's one of those things you are always going to want to say if your partner comes to you and says, I want to do this, that you're going to be like, you should do that. That's great. You know, but it immediately in my, in my head, mm-hmm. that mindset of you should do what makes you happy and I'm going to help you get there, which is a great, sure, it's great yeah. that she's, she didn't immediately like break up with him because that could be something people do. Well, they have kids, right? So you should always be super supportive about what your partner wants to do. But when you have kids, you can't do that as nearly as much. Yeah. And she sounded, seemed very willing to compromise with him. I, I want you to be able to do this. It sounds cool. Even though you're fat and you're mean, <laughs> but, and only five eight. And only five you're fat and short. <laughs> but I want you to be able to do this, sweetie. Um <laughs> The addition of But <laughs> she, I, I like the idea of she just sat down and she was like, Honey, you're fat, you're short, you're ugly. <laughs> <laughs> like I don't know. Like just the, just insult is, him. No, but it, it, is that um once you have kids you can't just do that. And the fact that he without st- saying anything just quit his job and then came home and said, "Listen guys, here's what I'm going to do is not good to me." No, That's not yeah. a good way to approach that. Well, do we do we think there was literally zero discussion before this? Do we think like he never brought it up or has he been talking about it for years? I don't know. I don't know if that changes much. Yeah. Because it's still like you can, you, <clears throat> you can, I think, chase your dreams. You can chase your dreams and be smart about it. And it, and it, to me, it's one of those things like you can, you can just be smart about it. it you can work a part time job and do for sure artsy things like that. Yeah. Or performance based things like, like that. Like every actor. Like nobody. Yeah. I don't, yeah. There, there's a reason there's a stereotype <laughs> of. of there's a stereotype of actors working at restaurants because they real not not a single one of them. I mean, they may have started doing this, but not a single one said, "All right, I quit my job. I'm going to be acting full time." That's not how that works. That's what they want to do. They want, that's what they want they to do. They know they need to do they steps do to get there. And maybe it hit them the hard way that they can't do that. Likely, but um, I could have. Yeah, no, you were an actor. You were an actress right for a while. That those are stories. I later. didn't even have a part time job. Those are stories. Yeah, you were like seven. <laughs> I was 12. Oh, okay. <laughs> what are the child labor laws surrounding <laughs> actors? I'm just super honest. Like, oh, that's, it's a mess. It imagine, is a mess. Imagine, if you, imagine if you said, like, you, like a, a, you're, you're a parent and you're like, yeah, no, my, my daughter just really wanted to work at, at Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> so we're, we're doing everything we can to make that happen. <laughs> we moved out to L.A. <laughs> got, her, got, her a job, job at got her a job at Walmart. Yeah. Selling Velveeta. The, no, no. <laughs> we plugged y'all enough today for some company that's not paying us. Um, but even still, I think the reality that you may not, that you will figure out very quickly that this isn't going to work in the way you want it to. You may be getting Wait. big, but it's, it's, you're going to, there's going to be probably a year or two at least where it's like, oh. It's going to be more than that. Sure. At, at least like a year, like a few years where you're like, this isn't immediate like I think it, or like I seem to have thought it was going to be. Well, and and the thing is, you'll figure out very quickly that you don't have enough money to do this. So I think even if you're willing to work part time, once you figure out that part time might not cut it either for bills, some dreams you have to drop when you have children. That's just how it is. You can't is you can't um just do that these things like that. You can figure out if it works, but if it doesn't, you better get back to work, right? <laughs> yeah, I I think though like. Uh, th- there there are certain things, and wrestling is going to be one of them, where it totally can start out as a hobby. In which mm-hmm. case, you can have a full-time job. You can have a full-time job and just like every Friday night or whenever right. they do it. I don't know how. Yeah, well, whatever. We'll t- you, you know how it does. No, I, know, I don't know all of it. But, but but it can start out as a hobby, and you can like train once or twice a week. Sure. and 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 even then start doing shows or whatever. But like, it doesn't have to go... I'm quitting everything. I'm gonna wrestle. Like, 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 just it, 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 yeah. it is a hobby until it's not. Sure. But like, it, no, it, it can be your full full time gig for sure. Yeah. But like, you gotta work your way there. Right. Well, there's a reason. Like most, I don't know. You, you I'm sure know a lot more. But I know a few actors. <laughs> I know a few actors. All of them have full time jobs, and then they go and practice every single night at their like local playhouse or film company or whatever. Right. Like they don't just 
none of them said like, all right, listen, yeah, I, I took out a loan. <laughs> I'm going to do this forever now or, for, or full time. That's just not how that works. Um, and none of them have kids. <laughs> that's, I don't know. That's and, and, and I don't want to broach because I don't know his life. It sounds like she's, they seem financially stable enough to where she seemed comfortable saying, hey, just at least do part time. Um, I would say by and large, though, if you have kids, probably, I would say probably don't even try that at all. Most likely, you know, <laughs> then make it a hobby. That's, yes. Cause, no, exactly. Cause I do think people should have hobbies. Yeah. I, I mean, people who no, like, yeah. like if all you do is work, that's, that's hard. Yes. That's not, you got to have something that's just for you and just for fun. Mm-hmm. Like a podcast. Yes. <laughs> Tell them to get a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Then you could invite the rest. Because I'm sure, does he, do you think he just, like, I, I don't know enough story, but, like, do you think he just watches it on TV? Or do you think he, like, goes to shows? Because if he went to shows, that would make a lot more sense as to him thinking, I can do this because there's a scene in my town. Right. So, if, so that, I think that's what he means by indie shows. Like, like, like local shows. Okay. Shows, well, it wasn't like, indie, like, indie I, I know, music. I know, okay. but I think that's what they mean. Okay. Um... Uh, because those are, I don't know, I think those are so much fun. So sure. that's, that's what I used to go to and stuff like right. that all the time. Do you want to tell that story? Real uh, quick? yeah. So, so there's, there's a lot more I could tell. Sure. But, uh, when I lived in Hawaii. You could get uh, him on the podcast. Absolutely. <laughs> My gosh, Richard, Richard, do you want to be on our podcast? <laughs> He's one of the refs. Richard, we're, we're kind of a big deal. We're sponsored by Velveeta. <laughs> Someday. But, um. And this guy. <laughs> he could guy. be his sponsor. He has what like he has barely barely besties on his like leotard or what? I don't know what they're doing. Uh, Not leotard, but no, like it's like a singlet, I guess. Yeah, singlet. But um, no. So I don't know if I've talked about it on the podcast yet that I used to live in Hawaii, but mm-hmm. I used to live on in Hawaii. I can't. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> um, it's me this week. But no. So I used. Are to Are you live saying in that it was me last week? What no. does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> Our first week, you kept coughing. Yes. Before I guess before we started, but anyways. Mm-hmm. Um, so outside of our dorms, uh, one, one night it was like really loud and we were like, what's going on? And I opened the window and it's, it, they're building like a full on wrestling ring, just like. In the field? Uh, it's not really a field. It, it's kind of like a place that's for performers, but was rarely used for performers, like mm-hmm. singers and stuff. Um, and so instead they started using it for wrestling, for like semi-pro wrestling. Like every Friday night or something? Um, no, the big shows were once a month. They would come, like, sometimes and practice, but the big shows were once a month because there was mm-hmm. a lot of set, set up. Um, but it was so much fun, and after I saw them do that first show, I went to every single show. Oh, yeah. And I got super into it. I knew every character. I knew all of their stories. I even started, like, like researching and learning more about mm-hmm. other wrestlers. Right. Um, they so tried to recruit you, right? They did. Ooze Wrestling. <laughs> I loved Ooze Wrestling so much, and... Uh, I was on crutches at the time, too. And... and <laughs> part of your character. <laughs> no, that's what they were saying. They were like, no, we could bring you on, and you could take your crutches and, like, beat them up. Like, that'd be so cool! <laughs> They'd be like, you'd be the best underdog. Because <laughs> they... No, it would, be like, it would be like a scene from, like... It would be like Avatar, like, Toph. Like, you, the, <laughs> the wrestling sure. come out, right. and they're all these huge guys, and then all of a sudden there's this, like, little girl. Like, yes! four, four eleven girl I'm walks be out. Oh, my gosh, that'd be so cool. Ooh, that'd be great. That would be so cool. And then cool. you just start throwing rocks at them. <laughs> Do you oh want to get water? I do. Get water. <laughs> um, I, can, I can distract him for a little bit because I have a thing I was going to say about that. Okay, um, go ahead. So, I like that. The idea of that is so awesome to me. Like, I would love nothing more than to have you bring it up here. <laughs> than to have um, a, an equivalent. No, I'm okay. I'm a professional. I don't cough. Um, <laughs> to have like an equivalent of that, you know, like I, that would be more tailored towards something yeah, I'd yeah. be interested in. Well, like, I wasn't well, like, interested in it. No, I know. I but like, like, just the idea of like, oh, I moved to a city and like, oh, I'm, my apartment's right above this like punk bar. And then I just go to that and that'd like awesome. meet all the people. Like, that'd be so cool. Like something like that, that would fit more to what I would want to do. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> Jeez. I'm sorry. <laughs> but anyways, I um, I became friends with like a lot of the wrestlers and I still follow them on Instagram and we we like keep in touch one of the like bad guys, because um, you know there's like yes. the characters you root for. Well, the I don't. You're supposed yeah, to I know meet. absolutely nothing about wrestling besides what you've told me. But. Well, yeah, there's the characters you're like th- like tailored to root for. And there's characters you're like tailored to hate. Sure. Um, and and uh, anyways, one of the guys that you're supposed to hate has his coach, and he still messages me on Instagram from time to time, and mm-hmm. he'll be like. 
hey, I'm proud of you. Go, uh-huh. Like, I'll, I'll post a lifting video. Yes. And he knew I was on crutches. And so right. it just makes me really happy. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then I remember one of the first shows I went to, I was really confused. So... They announced the they announced the first guy he came out. Everyone's like, yeah. They announced the second guy. Everyone's like, boo. And then they go, and next coming out we have Richard. And everyone's going, Richard. 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 <laughs> and he's just the ref. <laughs> like he's not. No, that's why you're confused by that. That's wholesome and awesome. No, it was and... the best. No, no, I I got super into it, and I was yeah. like, yeah, no, Richard is the best referee. We all love him. But we went we went crazy every time Richard came out to ref. That's great. Yeah. That's so much fun. Yeah. The there... Samoan Storm, Chris Wilde, um, uh, I can't think of everyone. Pineapple, Pineapple King, Pineapple Lucky. King. Um, uh, I don't know. There were just so many. Mm-hmm. I love them all. It was awesome. That's so cool. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's awesome. Um, that's why I sort of wanted to bring the story on because I was like, oh, she's going to have some opinions about this. Because <laughs> there, are, there are things that like, going a little bit more back to the story, like there are things that we both like to do that aren't what our jobs are. Like you run a gym in like a preschool. I run a, I run, I, I'm a teacher. Um, but we don't just do that and we don't intend to just do that. Um, but we also don't, um, like you have hobbies. Oh, that's true. Like a I, podcast. I do have, <laughs> I do have hobbies now actually. Yeah. Now? What do you mean? I don't know. I, I, for a while I like, I did gymnastics. Right. And then I also, I did acting as like my hobby, but yes. then there was a while where I didn't it was, like, more like a career, and then you're like, eh. <laughs> Well, no, but, like, I, I don't know. I don't know. It didn't feel like a hobby because I was de- I was so dedicated to it. Where right. it was like, this is something I do. Sure. I, I enjoyed it, and I loved it. Yes. I'm not complaining about it, but, like, it didn't feel like a hobby anymore. Mm-hmm. Um, so, so for a while, I didn't know what to say when people asked, like, what are your hobbies? It's like, I, I do gymnastics, and mm-hmm. I do acting. Sure. I don't know. But, but now I have hobbies. No, yeah, you have hobbies now. Yeah, <laughs> even, like, power, powerlifting feels more like a Yeah, she's a also a... a what was a state champion powerlifter? So I'm a two-time national champion. Bro. National champion, sorry, bro. bro. <laughs> <laughs> I watched the Instagram video she posts, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I have hobbies that aren't this, like a podcast. Yeah, like a like a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm working on it. Like, like I I intend to do hobbies when I um, you do, no, move you back. Want, like even like, hiking and stuff. No, like I do, like hiking. I um. One of my hobbies is doing is something that I do for fun. That's still my job. Like I, I teach as a hobby. I'm a vol- I volunteer oh, yeah. as a teacher, <laughs> um, just because awesome. I enjoy it so much. So I volunteer as like a, a ESL English second language t- uh, teacher, um, and I love it. So it's yeah. just little things like really that cool. that are um, that I enjoy doing too. Um, and I intend to, I intend to do more. Just when I have time, I like doing new things. Yeah. Me and new people. <laughs> I, but I, I, for the, not that you need it, but I can vouch that Thomas is a very good teacher because, uh, my, 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 for, for me, it was when I had to read about Thomas Paine and I was literally sobbing. <laughs> she I, had to read Common Sense, which I, is a very it difficult, was awful, it's a very difficult thing to read. But I had the book open and there were tear stains on the book. And I, and, and you came You're in. You're this story? Yeah, no, because that's, because you were so helpful. Mm-hmm. You came in and you, you like, Which, just explained point, everything to me. at that point, I had not read Common Sense either. But, but it, but it was, it was, you were a very good teacher. Aww. It, it, it was, it was good. I needed that. <laughs> it's not going well. But sure. I, I did really good on the test, by the way. That's right, you did. Yeah. Yeah. In part because of me. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> and then we went to go, was that, what event did we... That was Recapalooza. Yes, yeah, so we went to because an that event was the after other thing, that. that was the other thing you said. You were like, okay, we need to close the book now. Yeah, and take a break. We could take a break. Which is a thing that I think a lot of people don't register that they should do. I don't. Um, I definitely And don't. I totally get it, but it's like the best thing sometimes to do is just take a 30-minute break. Now, our break was more like four or five hours, but... It wasn't. Because we hung out after that, I right? I know. You That's didn't. right. No, you didn't. Okay, so but what happened is when... We immediately went from there, uh, we were in, like, a classroom, to, like, be outside, and we had did, like, cornhole and stuff like that. That wasn't that one. Wasn't? No, we've that been, we've one been to was, so many. That one was the, uh, whatchamacallit, what are these called? Bow and Arrow. Okay. It was the bow we've, and been to, we've been to a lot of outdoor events, our university as well, <laughs> so I get them all mixed up, but. Yeah. Um, but we don't just talk about common sense on this podcast. We also 
um, talk about deep questions on this podcast. We also podcast on this. They're podcast. not so deep though. No, they're yeah. literally just would you rather. Yes, yeah, but we so we found this card game, and we we plan on doing a lot of card games. We have a lot of little cardboard games that are super fun. Yeah. That we plan on doing probably not like every single week, but like yeah. throughout. Yeah. I, I don't know. We From time stagger to time. it out. And so we have this one called Deep Dilemmas, which is apparently just like a would They're you rather. They're just would you rather. <laughs> They're just would but you rather. Maybe maybe would you rather is like a copyrighted thing. Mm. I don't know. So well, are we not allowed to say would you rather when we open it? Do we have to say Deep Dilemma? What does it say? Would you? It's just two things. This or this. All right. Like for example, Deep Dilemma. <laughs> you have to say would you rather, or else it doesn't make <laughs> sense. Like it literally, it doesn't say would you rather, but like you but, like, can't not says, say would you rather. Yeah. Um, hit every green light for the rest of your life or get a genuine compliment from a stranger every day. So I'll let you go first on this one because I have some thoughts. Some I... deep thoughts. I'm going to die. <laughs> this is a very hard question. I know, but it's okay. No. We'll get through this. Oh, my God. Um, no, I, I absolutely would pick get a genuine compliment from a stranger every day. Because getting a compliment from a stranger, mm -hmm. like, that makes my, that, that, I carry it with me for a month. Like, sure. if, if a stranger tells me they like my shoes, I'm, every time I put my shoes on for the rest of the month, I'm going to be like, remember when she but liked my it, shoes? But if you got it every single day? Yeah, I would be so happy. Okay. I would be, I would be obnoxious. I would be terrible to be around because I'd be like, <laughs> everyone thinks I'm the best all the time. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's one of those things, like, I'll, you'll, I'll, there's always someone who, like, thinks something about you, like, like they're like, oh, man, her shoes are great, but I guess it would force them to do that. That's why I make, but, I make an active effort every single day mm -hmm. to give someone a compliment. That's great. <laughs> I gotta die, I hate this. Jeez. <laughs> she's not, over. she's We're not, no, this over. no. We've been going for 30 <laughs> minutes, we just start over. We, it's not even, <laughs> what's, did you spit all over yourself? <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to say my... So, one, you don't drive, too. That does affect this answer a little bit. Yeah, but I have in-cars all the time. That's true. Um, so, here's the thing. Hit every green light for the rest of your life. That's cool. Like, that's that would be super helpful, especially if you're late to work. I'm rarely late for work, but, you know. Um, but here's my, here's my thought. Get a genuine compliment from a stranger every day. I mean, that's fine. That would make me feel good all the time. It might get a little annoying sometimes. I would never be annoyed. Um, Just one. But here's what, here's what I'm thinking. <clears throat> What if someday I get kidnapped and I get put in like a, like a really dark closet. Like I'm all tied up and I like put in a closet and I'm just stuck there and like no one's calling and no one can come get me. Well, eventually that day, somebody has to give me a compliment. So what if they, what if it just like the universe forces them to pop up in the box with me and then I'm not, and then I got a buddy possibly help me escape, but mostly just, you know. Okay. I, I see, I see where you're going. Right. Because it's, it's like that, you know, that old vine that was like, this guy's getting chased by a murderer and he says like, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. And then the State Farm agent pops up. <laughs> so it's sort of like that. Like, like I would have someone, because I feel like, you know, it's always good to have a buddy in this situation. It's always good to have a buddy. <laughs> it's always good to have a buddy, but you're the last person I would want to be in a murder situation me? with me. Yes. Why? <laughs> because you would probably be the one to cause it. You'd probably be like, oh, we should oh, look at that door that's like slowly creaked open when we walked up to it. Let's go to that one. That is not true. And now you all, you, you. I'm a Freddy cat. Here, here's the thing. You don't, to be fair though, you, I, I have this vibe. I know I have this vibe, but like the, <laughs> like the less split up and search for clues. Like I have. Like I that. No, we would not separate. <laughs> that would not happen under, under any circumstances. No, but it's just like, oh, this is a different story. We'll have to tell another time. But the, when we found Bingo. Which he's probably hidden behind you. I should have. Oh yeah. Him. We found Bingo, and we like could have been murdered or kidnapped. No, yeah, we we went to a bunch of antique stores to find, because we were just in a city that had a bunch of antique stores. But um, then a woman said to us, like a woman who owned one of the antique stores, not the one we got him at, but one of the antique stores said, "Hey, um, you know, there's a there's some more stuff in the attic if you want to go there." And, and here's yeah, what we did. The, we went well, the into attic that attic. Has a, no, the attic has a very clear, we're closed sign. Yeah. Like, do not go it was up a here. Staircase, it was a continuation of the staircase, and it had a drape over it, like a curtain over it. Handwritten it note. That said, not today, I think. Not today. It said, <laughs> it said not, not today. today. And then we both looked at each other, and then we said, today. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, don't blame me for that one. That was both of us. <laughs> well... No, no, my point was there was one door up in one of those attics, a different oh, one. Oh, that was, that, that you, we're pretty sure was 
her I think house. She lived I think there. she lived in yeah. her store. <laughs> yeah, but 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 you were like, we should go in there. That was a joke, though. I was not gonna because I knew I know, it was her no, house. No, I know. We we stopped it right away, but you were the one who said it, not me. That's true. That's true. Okay. All right, new one. Would you rather have any meal appear at the snap of your fingers, or be able to see ten seconds into the future? You know how fat I would get if I <laughs> if I had every meal ever like I could snap my fingers and there'd be a meal in front of me. That'd be that'd be such a big problem for me. Really? <laughs> yes. You would do it all the time. Yeah. No, I would sit there like I'm not even hungry. I'm just bored, and I was like, you know what? Cereal. Boom. You know. Mm. You um, would do cereal. That's your first. I don't one? know. I'm thinking if That's it's the like first I'm, one that comes. No, to but your I'm head? thinking if like, it's like late at night and I'm just like sitting there. I'm like I'm not hungry, but I'm bored. Boom. Oh, okay. 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 Um, but being ten able to seconds send- in the future. I can't see that being particularly useful. Okay, well, what besides if... Besides just, what happens if I open this door? <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, what, what if it was 10 minutes into the future? Would that make a difference? Or is it still... I think it, I'm going to pick that one, but I don't think I would use it too much. Because mm. one, it would freak me out. Because is it one of those things where if I see into the future and I see, like, a meteorite hits this house... I think it's like... Do, can I change it? Or is I, it that, or say, that is the future and I'm just... I'm going to act it out now. That's so Raven. She could change it, right? It wasn't ten seconds though. No, I know, I know. It was, it was whenever. Are we, are we using it. that? That's our Raven logic. Yes. I think we should. We gotta do the like face. What does she do? She's like. I don't remember. She, she makes a face. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think I made. I just. Yeah, but um, no, I'm choosing because have any. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> have any meal appear at the snap of your fingers? Um, primarily because the idea of well, one, I'm a picky eater, so being able to have the meal Mm -hmm. and know that it's exactly what I want would make me feel great. Sure. But the biggest reason is I get homesick a lot and being able to be like, I want my, I want the the chicken that my dad makes. Sure. Or like, I want tamales that my grandma makes. Like Mm -hmm. like being able to just have them. Sure. That would make me feel less homesick all the time. You know, I might change my answer because if I'm sitting, sitting in a closet that a murderer has put me in and I'm tied (laughs) up and I have my good, um, like state farm friend there we might get hungry so you might get hungry i like that cereal. it's gonna go back cereal <laughs> i'd like to he's just like all right we have one like last request for food and i just pop up cereal and he's like what <laughs> uh, a, a cake with a razor blade in it so we can cut the ropes out <laughs> that's a that's a good one all right pick one would you oh would you rather get oh your i know your answer to this one <laughs> and i think i know my answer to this are they one. different answers oh, that could be weird though um <laughs> Give up all food condiments and seasonings. Okay. So no ketchup, no salt, no... Yeah. All right. Or let a four-year-old decide what you wear every day. <laughs> so I am so tempted. I think that the four-year-old one is funny and it could be hilarious, but it would get real old real quick. Oh, I have a job interview. Oh my God. All right. Like not a job interview today. You know, like, <laughs> or what if the four year old just is like lazy that day and he just decides, you know what? You're just not wearing a shirt today. Then it's like, what do you do? I can't, I can't go to school. <laughs> like, okay. I can't go to work. Wait, wait, can we grab it again? Read it again. It's, it's what or what? Give up all food condiments and seasonings. Yeah. So that's a big loss because yeah. all food would suck. Pretty much all food would suck. Yeah. Oh Yeah. Like all, like pretty much all food would suck. Yeah, I guess even so. salt I mean, and pepper. You know, I, the two I, main seasonings. <laughs> I, I I don't know. I think I, I think I could manage. I think I could manage. It just I, it's just it's it would make food really awful for me all the time. So is it is it saying? Sorry, I I'm panicking at the moment. Is it is it if I if I let a four year old do this, then I get to keep this. But if I yes. if I give up this, then I have to do that. Yes. I think I really want the four-year-old to pick out my clothes. See, yeah, no, that's that's totally fair. But, like, what if the four-year-old one day decides, you know what? You're wearing, like, some something you couldn't wear to work. <laughs> like what? What if they're like, oh, you know what? Today, you're wearing a, ju- you're wearing a straight jacket. It's like, what? <laughs> That'd be so funny. Are you kidding? What if, what if the four-year-old just decides, okay, you know what? Today, no clothes at all. Then it's like, okay, shoot. Today? What? Today? <laughs> just <laughs> every single... The four-year-old gets really lazy and just, like, resubmits all of the same forms. <laughs> no, that's the, that's the thing about the four-year-old, though. They're probably going to pick one outfit, and that's going to be... It's going to come back a lot, and it's mm-hmm. probably going to be a costume. It's like, you're Captain America today. Right. And you're Captain America tomorrow, 
and then you're the Hulk the next day, and then you're Captain America again, right. and now you're a mermaid. Okay. Like, it's probably going to be a costume. That's that's true. And I think that'll be fun. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give up... I'm going to give up seasoning. You are? Yeah. I can't... I cannot let... Like, my Wait. job, I can't let a four-year-old decide what I wear. Wow. <laughs> I can't. You're you work with children. I work with... Well... Older children. <laughs> oh, see, yeah, no, see, I'm saying I want that. I know, that's I'm what I said, wrong. that's why I said I know. I'm doing this wrong. That's what I said, like, I know your answer to this one, and I know that you're going to want a four-year-old to be your <laughs> outfit every day. Um, Maybe there's strict stipula- like stipulations. Maybe it's like, okay, kid, listen, they have to be fully clothed, and it can't be something weird, yeah. like, they're, like, in a straight jacket. <laughs> why, why is that your go-to? I don't know. Just, like, something that would be, like, like oh, yeah, you're wearing, um boots made of cement like <laughs> oh, that'd be cool okay um <laughs> so <weird. laughs> well that sounds awesome <laughs> okay well, well anyways would you rather or rip jeans what if they make me wear ripped jeans oh, i've made no. a point to never wear ripped jeans I, besides ones that rip i hate ripped jeans i w- think i've worn them in high school and then i was like i don't like the feeling this has on my knee it was it was my grandma got in my head that was like what, what like just don't do that <laughs> no, like just just don't and and Jen Jen and that is I will carry that with me. For my granddad used to say every time my sister would walk into like his house wearing ripped jeans, he would just point at her and say, "Did you pay extra for those jeans? Yes, those rips?" Exactly. Or he would say like, "Did you get attacked on the way over here?" <laughs> That's a good one. Okay, would you rather uh, wear a bright orange life jacket as your winter coat, or? Decorate you mean like those hunting coats sort of thing? No, 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 no. Literally just a, a life, life jacket. jacket. So I'd be cold all the yes. time? Yes, you would be cold. Mm, okay. But consider it because... But I just bought a sweater. Well, you could still wear a sweater. It's as your winter coat. Gotcha. You could okay. sweater and then vest over the sweater for your coat. Okay. Or sweater over the vest. <laughs> just look super That'd be great. <laughs> okay, the bright orange life jacket. Or mm, okay. decorate your home with a commissioned self-portrait of yourself in every room. <laughs> that, that one? What? what do you mean? So in a lot of countries um, that have monarchs. So like um, in, in Thailand, they have a king and a queen. And it's very customary to have a picture of them in your house. Mm-hmm. Like on the wall with your family. So I just be It's like not that. with your family. It's of you. No, I know. I'd have a picture, and then I have like all the other pictures or whatever. That sounds great. In every room. Sure. I just don't want my guests to forget who like whose house they're in. You know. <laughs> you know it happens sometimes. It's like I don't want to forget whose house I'm in. I don't want to forget. Yeah, every something. day I wake up, where, where am I? I oh. think because here's what's the other one. Yeah, no, the bright orange life jacket is. I don't like. That's going to be a problem eventually. Yeah. And I think, and I think that the other one is just hilarious. <laughs> so I'm going to choose that. I would want ever, a picture of myself in every room. In okay, I'm going to go with you only because I I know I'm going to get really yeah, cold. Yeah, you get really cold. I'm going to get really cold. You got cold, cold in your room, and it was set to like 73. Okay, but it was colder than that. Like it was set there, but it was it was colder. Do you want to do like two more? Yeah, sure. We've just, this is this is fun. I'm yeah. Fun. And I can breathe now. I don't know what changed, hey, yeah, yeah. but I can breathe now. Oh, what? I already did this one. <laughs> Ooh, this one's great for you. And it leads <laughs> and it leads into something we need to talk about today, a special oh. announcement. Which I'm I'm a pregnant. <laughs> what? No, um <laughs> never have to wait in line again. Okay. Or have your birthday be declared a public holiday. <laughs> so y'all birthdays are very important to Bianca. I, I, uh, the second one, say it again. Have your birthday be declared a public holiday. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, <laughs> I, I knew that. I, mm. I, uh, in my book it is. Um, I think in a lot of people's books it is. Yeah. My birthday is very important. A holiday no one cares yeah. about. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, I meant the holiday. The cause holiday. Yeah, because your birthday's no. on. Yeah, because I was supposed to be born on the 4th of July, but instead I was born on an even cooler holiday. Flag day. Flag day. Flag day, yeah. Uh, so that's that's my birthday, June 14th. Um, and yeah, no, I, I I like my birthday a lot. I'm a little... Uh, yeah. I don't, I don't know what to say about it. Do you want me you to just, like, birthdays say Birthdays are very thing? important to you. Do you want me to like, say no, my thing? No, I don't think they're I think ready for that. Too much. I don't think they're ready for it's that. It's only episode three. Yeah, no, they, they don't need to know your birthday <laughs> you're traditions. You're going to think I'm crazy. <laughs> because I, I've known you for two and a half years, and I think you're crazy <laughs> for your birthday traditions. Um, okay. 
Anyways, I like my birthday. I picked the second one. Right. Um, I'm going to say never wait in line again. That would be so awesome. Going to the airport and never having to wait in like a TSA line but or like... Just get pre-check. No. That's forms and like you have to... Like, I have pre-check. Yeah, but that you have to do you have to do stuff for that. Imagine just walking in and be like, "Hey, Thomas, it's coming." It's be, it'd be like every day is your birthday. Oh, that's just walking the in, it's like, "Hey, get in front of the line. You're good." You know, it'd be like that scene from um um, <laughs> a, a what movie is it? It might be, it's it's Eddie Murphy, and he's like in line. It might be Will Smith. Is it Eddie Murphy? There's a movie where a a character like gets in line and he's on the phone and he's like, it's like a long line. He's like, oh, he's on the he's pretending to be on the phone. He's like, you having kids? And then they like let him in. And then like one person standing at the line, he's like, "No, I'm not, I'm I'm getting my coffee first. And then he's like, "Twins!" And then the guy's like, "Oh yeah, no, go ahead, <laughs> get in the front of the line." I don't remember what movie that is. I'm tempted to say Coming to America, but um, mm, might be I haven't seen it. I should though. Um, um but I'm gonna say never having to wait in line again because that's just cool. Yeah, no, that's really cool, and it would make you feel like a celebrity. Yeah, you know, you'd be like, oh, yeah, I I know. Or like <laughs> like and like getting um. Going to an amusement park. We're going to really anything would just be so much better of an experience. Just pretty much anything. It's oh, the store. That's a great point. The store. The, the store. store? <laughs> Your <face>. The store. <laughs> that was so loud. <laughs> that hurt. Um, but while we're on the topic, actually, we have uh, no, two like, very important. Like, sorry, well, hold on, hold on. But like at Disney World, some of those lines are like hours yeah, long. Yeah, no, it'd be great. So that would be really store great. hours long. But but when it's your birthday, sometimes they're like, here, take a fast pass. I don't think it actually works like that anymore. But like back in the I, day, well, I don't think they really do fast passes no, I anymore. I think they do something else now. Yeah, they do. It's like, it's like a whole big thing that you gotta yeah. do. But but back in the day, you would wear the birthday pin. And they'd what else? Be like, the DMV. Oh, well, you don't really know too much about it. But the DMV would be a game changer. In I, line. I've, I've getting your passport. Been there. Yeah. Getting um, going to the cafeteria. Going to Chick Fil A. Oh, it would be nice. The Freshens line. Yeah, the Freshens smoothie line. Freshens line. That was the wrong one. <laughs> um, but while we're on the topic, we have two very important birthdays we'd like to shout out. The first one happened last week. Yep. Happy birthday to, to my honeybee grandpa. Yeah. And uh, happy yeah, birthday yeah. to my grandma also because it's almost her birthday. When's her birthday? It's coming up. Awesome. Yeah. Well, also, we'd like to, um, on, the, on the day we're recording this, September 20th, um, it won't come out this day, but um, <laughs> on the day we're recording, this is my sister's birthday. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Haley! Haley! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Happy birthday, Haley. Hope to see you soon. I'll actually call, I'm calling her, we're doing like a FaceTime thing tomorrow. Oh, to, fun. To get her gifts and stuff like that. Nice. My gift is still um, in my room. <laughs> I, I didn't ship it. So, <laughs> um, she'll, you'll get my gift later uh, next month, so... I just, I'm so sorry, but I but just flipped. Happy to, birthday, y'all! I just flipped to a question that has "Happy birthday" on it. How Ooh. how crazy is that? Oh, I hate that. <laughs> I haven't Ooh, read it. I yet. Hate it. it says, uh, okay, is this the last one? How long have we been going? Uh, probably like 40 minutes. Okay, cool. Okay, would you rather have the song "Happy Birthday" stuck in your head for five years? The other one, whatever the other one is, I'm fine with it because or one uh, "Happy Birthday" is a copyrighted song, so I'd be getting. I bet. Right. I'd have, yeah, I'd have to be charged royalties every time. <laughs> it, that, that gift is going to, that that curse is going to cost me. It's still me. stuck in your head. You don't have to sing it. I have to, you have to sing it every time it comes to your head. Um, or. Perform a 30 minute globally televised comedy set with no preparation. Just once? Yeah. Okay. Really? <laughs> yeah. Huh. I'd much rather do that. Huh. Also, because one, globally uh, broadcasted or whatever it said, that doesn't mean people are listening. No, I mean, they think this is the type of I mean, of sure, thing. but everyone it's, knows that I'm the guy. So all I have to I do is, is just not say, like, bad words because everyone's going to see it, you know? And then, I, like, I, okay, he's just, he just made some really unfunny jokes. Cool. 30 minutes is a long time. 30 minutes is a long time. It's a really long time, but it's only like, 30 minutes out of your life versus, um, 365 days a year, 24 minutes. hours a day. For five years? <laughs> no, well, it's it's like I just know I just know the whole John Mulaney set, and I just do his whole set word for word. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> I I could I could scrap. I used to, um, it's it's off now because I I took them all down. But I used to have a podcast that mm-hmm. was me doing stand up, basically just stand up in my room. That's awesome. And I've it done was all up. awful, and so so I would just go from those. 
And she'd be like, oh, yeah, he just told the Harry Potter story again. Okay, cool. Because <laughs> I made fun of Harry Potter. That was a big part of my set was just making fun of Harry Potter. <laughs> so I could do it. It wouldn't be good. I'd be embarrassed, but. Yeah, I've done stand-up a couple times, but I don't know. The, the, okay, the thing for me, though, is, like, having the happy birthday song stuck in your head. I don't know if that would bother me that much. Because I kind of. you can't have any other song stuck in your head. Yeah, you can. You can't. Have you, you can had two mash-ups. songs? Yes. <laughs> mash-ups? <laughs> you don't get mashups in your head? No. I get mashups in my head all the time. I have, like, songs that, like, overlap on top of each other. Um, but I kind of, like, constantly have circus music playing in my head. Just, like, always. Right. It's just there. So, I don't think that would bother me. Um, yeah, I, I I don't know. I don't know. I think your set could be really funny, though. I, I think I... That's I th- the thing. Here's the thing. I think both of our sets could be funny for the first, like, 10 to 20 minutes. Then it'd be, like, the last time would be like, oh, my God, what do I say? You know what? <laughs> you know? No, you're right. You're right. Because I have a lot of stories, and I could easily just talk and make yeah. them funny. And I would just tell your stories. <laughs> so I have a friend. <laughs> you just saw her on the 30-minute scheduled thing <laughs> program before this one. <laughs> All right. Deal. Um, okay, this one's funny because it's... Would you rather randomly cry for an hour a day? <laughs> which new. Yeah, we already both do that. <laughs> or only the only gift you can give somebody is a jar of mayonnaise. And this is hard. This is hard for me because I don't like crying. I don't enjoy crying. It doesn't have no it says crying. It doesn't say like sobbing. Okay. Cry, crying is just like couple, But it's random though. Like a couple tears. It's random. Does what it if say I'm random? in the, Yeah. What if I'm in the middle of a class and I just start sobbing? Or crying. It doesn't say sobbing. Yeah. If it was sobbing, I would say no. The other one. But it doesn't say sobbing, uh, which means, like, you can breathe. And it'll just be a couple tears going down. You look down a window. Maybe it'll be raining. Mm-hmm. It'll be all right. Put your hand on the window and just sort of stare at it. <laughs> stare out for a second. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, because I love giving gifts. And being only to give someone a jar of mayonnaise <laughs> is really strange. Is it the same jar of mayonnaise? Like, hey, uh-huh. call them back. Like, hey, listen. I hope, I, I hope you didn't need it because um, <laughs> I need that back. What do you mean? I did eat it. Ooh, that, I've been passing that around for like five years, dog. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's it. And what if then somebody, people think I just have a thing for condiments. Then they just, start, <laughs> then like for every, for my birthdays, they just start giving me condiments. Or just mayonnaise. They just start giving just me, keep they re-gift, they re-gift, I just get too much. I like mayonnaise, but not that much. Yeah. Hmm, um, this one's easy. This one's so easy. Win every argument or be able to pause time for 30 minutes a day. Pause time. Yeah. I don't care to win every argument. That doesn't matter to me. <laughs> yeah. No, I would absolutely pause Though time. Though I could get on it. I could be, I could um, run for president. Then I would win every oh, single argument. Oh, wow. That's a, that's a good loophole. I will. Yeah, but I don't have enough money to run for president. Well, no, you wouldn't have to because you could argue. I just, someone. I just get, I just like fly to wherever they're doing their little speeches or wherever and just say, "Hey, um, <laughs> I'm, I'm taking your place now." No, you're not. Yes, I am. Oh shoot! Well, <laughs> dang it. No, y'all aren't ready for me. Or even if, if you didn't have enough money and they were like, "You don't have enough money," you'd be like, "Yes, I do." Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> True. I just become like the oh uh, what Ingsoc the the 1984 <laughs> like entity. The what? Uh, 1984, that novel where it's like a big giant company oh, owns oh, oh, everything. Oh, oh. They're like the government and they're just like, they, their main point was just, they write what truth is and what, what is reality. So I would write what reality is just like <laughs> yeah. this right here, this, or this color right here. This is pink now. What do you mean? It is. Wow. This is pink. And then I would just like change the world. <laughs> wow. That's a lot of power. In yeah. One thing. Are you sure sure with your answer still? Are you switching your answer, or are you going to keep your 30 minutes? What would you do with your 30 minutes? Every day? No, every day, 30 um, after. Practice debate. <laughs> <laughs> so then I can have both loophole. <laughs> I like that loophole. Anyway, okay, I have this one for you. Okay. Um, because for me? For, for you, because... What happened to this card? <laughs> I was playing. Why is this card all messed up? I was playing. It was just a it. crumpled up card on the ground. Because if something's in my hand, I play with it. It's okay. a problem. Okay, um... Would you rather flip a coin to make every decision? Oh, God. Mm. Or wear camouflage overalls every day? And I need (laughs) you to choose the second one. I would do camouflage overalls because then I would say, because I would come into a job interview and they would say, you know, it's really not appropriate to wear camouflage overalls. What overalls? (laughs) 
Then I went, this couples with the last. <laughs> <laughs> they all add on to each they other. All, <laughs> they all add on to each other. I um I made every line. <laughs> I don't have lines to go to anymore. I'm randomly kidnapped in a, in a thing for some reason. That wasn't a question. <laughs> I just made up. You? I just made that up. You get food suddenly. I get food suddenly. So I'm just sitting there in my camo overalls. I just didn't have to wait in line, but I'm just like sitting there anyways. And they're like, like Chick-fil-A messed up my order and they put pickles and I'm just like, boom. And then I just like, why would I even go to Chick-fil-A actually? <laughs> I don't have to, just, just to flex that I don't have to wait in line. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, to be clear though, uh, I am flipping a coin to make every oh, that's decision. The w- no, that's the worst. Yeah, but I don't want to wear camo overalls every day that's true what if it was just regular overalls oh then heck yeah i'm in what if it was like bright orange like like um lifesaver vest orange i could make it work yeah don't you think i could make it work? i think so yeah i think i could make it work i, I would so. i would I, w- I would rock it is it ideal no but i could oh make absolutely it work. all right let's do a few more a few more let's okay. rapid fire this okay Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> um live in an airport for two weeks. Ooh. Like Tom Hanks in the terminal. Or phrase everything you say as a question for a month. Airport, airport, airport. The question thing would get old real quick. Yes. Just like, I thought it was, um, I thought your play was really good. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, airport, I'm assuming this is legal. Like, I'm not going to get, like, arrested no, yeah, for this. No, not, not. I don't, here's the thing. I love flying. I love traveling. I hate the airport. I love I the airport. I hate the airport. After, okay, you I know what, actually, I'll rephrase that. After airport. I get past TSA, I really like the airport. Yeah. Once I, but if it's, if it's, as it depends, am I past TSA or am I um outside of TSA? Because if I'm, like, sitting in the area before TSA, I'm going to be stressed out. Um, because it's just that constant, I hate, like, TSA stresses me out, even though, like, I don't have anything. I never have anything. Yeah. I just always have clothes. But it just stresses me out. Um. I would think you're past it. Okay, so if I'm past it, because that's where all the food typically yeah. is. So you could be self-sustaining. Yeah, you yeah. could. I, is, is jogging, I'm trying to think of if is I could jogging? get, if I could get, like, exercise here. So yeah, is jogging in an airport alarming to people? Like, is that a thing that you think, t- no, because, like, the cops No, because not... people would be like, oh, he's late for his flight. He's, he's been in like four laps. He's wearing like a tank top and like. No, I I I love being in an airport. I mm. I everything about being in an airport is just the best. Aside from that one stupid guy on the the last uh, the last airplane I was on was really scary because my flight was delayed and I almost missed my second right. flight and I had to sprint there. I had to take a shuttle and then sprint off the shuttle. Jeez. It was it was so much. And then I that's got what, there. That's what stresses me out about airports is layovers, not yeah, anything yeah, else. Yeah, just yeah. layovers stress me out. <laughs> but but so I, I, I got there and uh, everyone had already boarded the flight. I sprint up Jeez. to the thing and, oh, I'm, right. and I'm like, like, did I make it? And this one, one, one guy is like, plane already left. And I was like, what? You know, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I was like, that's not funny. <laughs> I said, hey, hey, read the room, bud. I, he needs a 30 minute breathe. he needs a 30 minute segment on I global breathe. television. I'm panting. He goes, it's already left. And and then he, he was like, Oh, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. I went, that was not funny, sir, but thank you. And then I boarded the flight. That was not very nice. Have a good day, sir. <laughs> and you had your cape and you just and then walk away. My cape? <laughs> no cares. Um, okay. Would you rather Know that you will get hit in the face with a golf ball at some point. Ooh, that's a bad way to, like, so my, my family, well, you want to do the next Go one ahead. first? No, you're good. Um, I've never been to the Masters, which is in Augusta, Georgia, but my family has. And they said that there was one day where they were watching it, like, there, mm-hmm. and they, a uh, golf ball hit somebody in the head. And they said, they said the noise they made was the ah. nastiest noise they've ever heard in their entire life. So whatever this one is, I probably want the other one. Because one, they need, she needed a doctor. Two, that could... A, that you'd have to be lucky. Or not lucky, but you have to be really unlucky, but that could kill you. And um, apparently the noise is really nasty. So like a... Like a so. Or... I shouldn't have made that noise. But that, <laughs> or... I was like, watch it. Look it up, guys. Only own one pair of shoes. I'm assuming once they rip, you get one more, and then you have to replace them, or? I don't think that far ahead. I think you only own one pair of shoes. And Thomas, all I have to say is hit me in the head with a golf ball. (laughs) Hit me in the head with a golf ball. (laughs) I, 
I have so many pairs of shoes, and the idea of me not being able to wear them is... That would be rough. I can't do it. I can't do it. That would be really rough. I can't do it. I really like my shoes. Like, I have a lot of pairs of shoes. Like, this is my shoes. favorite pair of shoes. Yeah, and you're wearing fun socks, too. I don't think you held your foot up high enough. I don't think the camera's off. <laughs> <laughs> is this good? No! I kicked the thing. God. <laughs> I have fun socks, though. Look, they have unicorns on them, kind of. And then these ones have um, paw prints. Aren't they nice. cute? <laughs> See, I'm not that flexible, so I can't do what she just I did. I kicked but... the table in her. <laughs> <laughs> I can handle getting hit in the head with a golf ball, though. I'll be fine. I have a hard head. <laughs> yeah, no, that won't be rough. I, I guess I guess I'll go with golf ball. Really? I thought for sure you would pick shoes. Well, because it's like, you know what? I think I could do that. I've always, I, I think you I've manage. always wanted to be that type of person that only wears like the same thing every single day, like super practical, like just wears one pair of like khaki pants like a white t-shirt like vin diesel in the pacifier just wears the same out and like one pair of like boots or something like that i've always wanted to be that guy but i like clothes too much <laughs> so new i can't sweater. i do have a new brand sweater. new sweater so it's really nice. i can't be that guy i like it but i will I, one day i might be when i'm older i'll be like that oh just there's um there's mr h he's, he's coming in and he wears mr. H. that's what my students call me i like they that. always mispronounce that. my last name really it's not that hard you think so hmm. everyone always mispronounces my last name like a lot. Interesting. But we can talk about that later. Anyways. But uh, I think that's gonna wrap it up for yeah. today, y'all. We, we should can... we should do more at some point because oh, these are fun. No, these are great. Um, so we'll absolutely do these again. We have a lot of other games that are sort of get to one get to know you games, and yeah. then also just fun scenarios like this. We need to get to know each other better. Absolutely. Clearly. No, I I'm sick of you. <laughs> Which is why you need this to is, get to know. No, me this better? is this is no, this is me telling you like this is the last episode. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, I hope you like the third episode because you're not getting any more after Stop this. Stop it. We will see you next week. We will see you guys will next see week. Um, okay, thank yes. you for listening to... <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing the outro. I'm sorry. Okay? I'm sorry. Go ahead. Um, you have blue mascara. I do. Isn't that cool? <laughs> I didn't even notice that. Isn't that awesome? That's awesome. Yeah. Okay, there's no way. I know. <laughs> Well, um, thank you guys so much for listening to this week's episode of Barely 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 Besties. Besties. I'm Thomas. I'm Bianca. And we will see you guys next week. Bye. Bye. It's extra close today. (laughs) Subscribe. (laughs)